Hey guys, what's going on? Just thought I'd take a look at the uh, second of the two commercial beers my friend sent me. This is Stack 72 Imperial IPA. 9% ABV. This is by Stack Brewing Company. Sudbury, Ontario. So this is a another a Canadian microbrew beer. So uh, yeah, I'll look at the I'll look at the back of the can after I taste it. So as always, I'm drinking out of my IPA glass. Love this glass, by the way, but it's very uh, very thin and fragile. So I recommend if you buy one of these, hand wash it. Don't put it in the dishwasher. So. Uh, Let's crack her open. Give it a pour. There we are. Okay. That's a little different. It's got a more of a malty character. It's got a good dose of hops, but it's a little different than your typical just plain old Cascade aroma. Can't really... I don't know how to describe it though. It's more of a... Maybe a more of a tropical fruit kind of smell. There is some citrus there too. You can definitely pick up the, uh, the caramel malts and stuff like that. It smells really good. Didn't pour it very aggressively, so I didn't get a very big head, but that's uh, fine by me. So without further ado, I'm going to give it a taste. Whoa, that's good. I can't remember what he said the IBU was in this, but it doesn't seem it doesn't seem as high as the other one. But maybe that's because of the the malt bill. There's so much more malt that it's uh, it doesn't seem as bitter. That doesn't taste like a, a nine percent beer. That tastes like a six or a seven. Hmm. That's so easy to drink. I said the other beer was dangerous, man. This one. That's bordering on sessionable. It's very hard to describe some of these IPAs because they got so much going on. I think I'm getting a little bit of a <clears throat> like a pine note and more of that uh, aroma is kind of following through in the taste. Oh wow, that's good though. I wish it was better at uh, describing uh, these flavors I'm tasting, but I'm so out of practice in doing these beer reviews. But I can tell you the the body of the beer is kind of it's kind of medium. It, it <clears throat> I was expecting it to be a lot thicker for the amount of alcohol in this but it's really quite nice and the carbonation is just perfect. Forgot to mention the color but pretty much all these IPAs have a similar color anyway so and again I forgot to 
Oh, there it is from last time. So I was just in the middle of editing this video, and I realized when I was almost finished that the rest of the video wasn't there for some reason. So I got to re-record this part. So I was just in the middle of uh, showing you guys the appearance of this. Here we are. As you can see, I've been already drinking some. I poured the rest of the can out and trying to do this the editing and the rest of the video wasn't there so uh, actually getting a better view of it this time anyway you see uh, it's actually uh, doesn't look as as cloudy as the last time I looked at it <clears throat> so uh, there you have it another wicked IPA um, I guess I'll wrap the video up and and finish editing this thing and get it to you guys. Oh yeah. So cheers and we'll talk to you later.